Manchester United, the only team to beat Liverpool this season, take on Chelsea on the match this afternoon. At home and abroad, from Hungary to North Wales, United's forte over the past 12 months has been responding to one-off occasions. They haven't lost a cup tie in that time. But consistency in the league is still proving elusive for the country's best supported club. The millions invested by Alex Ferguson have kept United in touch with the top two. The time is right for the cup specialists to break away from the chasing pack. Oh, splendid goal by Gary Pallister! And a very good afternoon to you from Old Trafford where they last celebrated the championship in 1967. Just like to start by uh, reading you a few lines penned by Alex Ferguson in the official match programme. Uh, Fergie writes in his column, I've always winced whenever I've heard United described as a, a one-man team, but I've got to admit that Brian has come nearer than most to making it so. Brian Robson, of course, who celebrated 10 years at Old Trafford with his testimonial game against Celtic on Tuesday. It attracted over 40,000 fans. Brian played for half an hour, and the news today is that he could be back in the first-team squad again in two weeks, not three, having come through an eight-team match successfully yesterday. So, Captain Fantastic, soon to be back in action and on active duty with us this afternoon. Actually, Brian, they've not been doing too badly without you, have they? Five weeks now since their last defeat. Yeah, they've been playing really well just lately. Um, the team pattern's been suiting most of the players, and uh, we've been putting in some solid performances just lately. And of course, a match today which could uh, provide United one or two problems. Chelsea usually do well here, don't they? They do, especially Curry Dixon. I was hearing in the week that he could be left out, but uh, I think that might have been a bad decision by Chelsea, because <laughs> he usually does well against us. Thanks very much indeed, Brian. Let's join our commentators, Ian St. John and Alan Parry. Well, good afternoon, everyone, and let's take a check on the teams, beginning with Manchester United. In goal, Les Seeley, two, Dennis Irwin, and three, Clayton Blackmore. Four, Steve Bruce. Five, Mickey Phelan. Six is Gary Pallister. Seven, the captain, Neil Webb. Eight, Paul Ince. Nine, top scorer, Brian McClare. Ten, Mark Hughes. Eleven, Danny Wallace, getting the vote over Lee Sharp in this adventurous United team, with midfielders Webb and Ince encouraged to get forward as much as possible. Well, Chelsea manager Bobby Campbell has rung the changes today, introducing two 19-year-olds, Damian Matthews, a midfield player known at Chelsea as Awita, not just because of his physical resemblance to the great athlete, he's also a very strong runner himself. And also, striker Graham Stewart, a product of the FA School of Excellence. These two have only four league appearances between them. Chelsea welcome back Dave Besant in goal, two Gareth Hall, three Graham Lasseau, four Captain Tan Andy Townsend, five Jason Cundy, at number six Ken Moncow, seven is Graham Stewart, eight Damian Matthew, nine Kerry Dixon, ten Gordon Jury, eleven Dennis Wise. And this is how they line up with the two teenagers in midfield. No fewer than six of this team came through the junior ranks at Stamford Bridge. Referee today, Mr. Jim Ashworth of Leicester. Gets the action underway with Chelsea all in blue. Attacking from right to left in this first half. Another big crowd at Old Trafford, where the average this season is over 45,000. Dave Besson back in goal after missing four games with a broken finger. Over Jury's head. And Phelan with the first challenge in midfield for United. Irwin getting it on to Hughes. And Gareth Hall somewhat clumsily. Helped it back to Dave Besant, Gareth Hall, the Welsh international. And this Chelsea team today, full of teenagers and other youngsters around 20, 21 years old. 